right, guys, welcome back. This is Manny from Tropical Glitz, and we're here at the Atlanta Super Show. And right behind us, we got Armando Flores and Jervis. And we're gonna be talking about the RC, RC lowrider cars and what they do to the community. So stay tuned to this episode. Made in day, baby. Ooh All right, guys, so I got here Armando. It's always a pleasure to run into you. So tell me a little bit. They brought you all the way from California and now you're here in Atlanta. Yes, all the way from California. Right now, it feels great to be here in Atlanta. It's pretty warm over here, but it's it's great. Um, I'm over here basically doing a presentation and a competition with the RC world of lowriders. We expecting a few people from, you know, Florida, from Texas, from California, from all over the place. And uh, let's see how it turns. Turns out. So it's crazy. Last time we were at Amando's house, we had backstage presentation and we were able to interview Amando at his house. Now, the biggest thing is Amando, last time I saw you, it was in Long Beach, California. Yes. You had tremendous setup. You had an amazing setup. How many people showed up to that show with their RC cars? Probably like, 300 people came and saw the whole presentation. And that kind of boom, that kind of when Lowrider Magazine saw something that, you know, they discover. And this is for the kids, for the new generation. And uh, they want this over here. They call me in and I'm right here. I mean, that's the best thing anyone, people don't realize that we've been working together. It's crazy. I grew up reading your stuff and now we work together closely with the paints and we provide so much, but I love the fact what you're doing with the community, the children and the RC cars. And this has just picked up legs. It's so popular now. How many people do you think are gonna end up showing up here for this? Because your setup here is gorgeous. This Whitaker Boulevard is amazing. How many people you think are gonna come today to this show? And on top of that, what would you say is something that you love seeing so much in the RC community with this? Yes, I'm, I'm hoping I expect like 100 people, 100 cars, it's the kids. See the faces of the kids with the parents, with our grandpas, it's what makes me like, makes me keep doing this. And this is gonna make me do it in different places that they call me. So when I see faces of a young kid, I know that that's gonna be the future of low riding. That is awesome. Now, anything else you wanna say to all the viewers that we have on YouTube? Well, I hope you guys keep loving what I'm doing. I know we have a, Jerry's coming from Netherlands. When we get together, we make more noise. Basically, have a good time. If people wanna see your work, cause your work is phenomenal. And, and even though I know it, but what would be, how can people find your work? What's your Instagram handle? My Instagram is Armando Flores 1032. And uh, you can find me there. You can ask me questions. I'll be happy to answer all your questions. Awesome, you know what, let's, let's bring in Jervis, it, listen. This is Jervis. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get you by surprise. How, how are you? Uh, I'm uh, really sweaty, but I'm doing fine. Otherwise, so. who, who told you to bring a jacket to Atlanta, brother? Well, because uh, outside is like super humid and hot, but inside is pretty cold right now. It's like a refrigerator inside. So okay. I was like, okay, I need a jacket for sure. I got a question. I'm, I'm here with Amando. Tell me a little bit of what you guys do together with these with these RC cars. It's it's amazing, and I know both of you guys play such a critical part in the in this in this market in this industry in our culture. Well, Armando obviously was like a big inspiration for me. Like when I uh, was in my in the 90s, it was like 92 when I picked up Lower the Bicycle magazine, and I seen work of Armando in there, like the pictures. I was like, shit, I need to be on that level. I want to make like beautiful Lower the Model cars. So Mondo was always my inspiration. So I was super fortunate to finally meet him like in 2006. We met at the Las Vegas show. Like, yeah, finally I meet the guy in person. So no, but uh, I've been doing this since 92, starting out with Lower the Bicycles. And when Lower the Bicycle magazine came out, I seen the, the Lower the Model cars. I was like, damn, that's so cool. You can make like from that plastic, like a model kit, you can turn it into a work lower the car that can hop and dance. And that's what my what got me motivated. Like what got me going. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands, Amsterdam. Yeah. After that, so you flew all the way from the Netherlands to come here to Atlanta. Exactly. To, so you really love this? Yeah, of course I love this. Yeah, this is my passion. 
for all these years. This is what I love. The, everybody in this community, everybody that does what we do, we don't do it for anything else but the love of the game. That's what I say, right? That for the love of the game. 100%. 100%. If, if they want to follow your work, what's your Instagram handle, Jervis? My Instagram account is Jeffries. That's just Instagram slash Jeffries. I'm on Facebook as well. And I've got my own website, Jeffries.com, where you can buy products and everything. Yeah, you know what? That's another thing. I forgot. You guys, you manufacture your own wheels. Yeah, a lot you, of stuff. you manufactured a lot for just for this. Can you show me real quick? A little bit of the RC cars and everything you got going on right now. Well, I got, this one over here is like a, my experimental car. So I have my own uh, pumps, well, servos made, the Jeffries Gate pumps and the Super Pumps. And these are like super fast, high torque uh, servos that make the car hop like ridiculously. And to lock up the gate, the, the rear, like uh, make it poppy and snappy. And I also uh, experimenting right now with a, a neutral motor. So when you want to do like hopping static, like standstill, you need to put your motor in, uh, in neutral. So it hops like super high, super smooth. It's just like experimental chassis. I was just uh, messing around with it just to figure out what works, what, what does not. And uh, there's a lot you can do with this chassis. It's like almost working uh, like on a real car, pretty much the same thing. So talk to me a little bit about the control arms now. They look like metal, but are they metal? Are they aluminum? What's the story on them? Now, these are like plastic uh, control arms, but like uh, uh, metal plated, uh, chrome plated. So they look like uh, real metal arms, just to make it look fancy and all. And, uh, and this is all custom. I do all kinds of custom style with longer trailing arms. I, yeah, is that custom brass trailing arms you made? Yeah, just experiment what works and uh, just to make the, the hop a little bit smoother and nicer and higher as well. So yeah, there's a lot to it. It's like working a real car. Really. No, I know that, but that's crazy. Now, I do know you make a lot of your own parts and you have the, but I see a, a slip drive shaft. Yeah. I see a wipe. Now, is this stuff that you guys made by yourself? Is this, tell me a little bit more in detail because listen, I grew up doing the model cars. This to me is, is amazing what I see right now. Well, it's just figuring out stuff. I mean, once you buy the car, you're like, oh, it doesn't hop as clean as it shoots. And then you figure out, okay, so the car needs to sit in neutral to make it hop nice. Now it's in neutral, so the wheels can spin freely. That's a very important part of making the car hop. And like these chains, just something different. I've seen other guys doing it. I'm like, okay, that's a good part to have on my cars as well. And make the training arms from brass, just to work with it and see what works. And then later on, I have these made like in steel or in aluminum, like nice and shiny. Yeah. So yeah, that's how we figure out my stuff. I was always interested in creating stuff, mechanical stuff cars or things that move or work and this is pretty much all I've been doing all my life besides drawing and screen printing and skateboarding etc I mean this is my passion it still is now flip over I see some of the stuff I noticed some of the stuff has your name on it yeah now so, so what's the story with this what tell me because I see it has your name on it so it has to be good if it has your name on it yeah I, I always look for the best companies that create the high quality stuff and these are like gate pumps. These are like super fast servos to lock up the rear. So I have the gate pump for the rear and I have like the super pumps for the front to make it hop. So I'm always a search and look for the best companies out there to make high quality parts because these things need to last. Yeah. And these can take uh, quite a bit of voltage and these are super strong. They have like steel gearings inside. So only the best. One last thing. Can you show me how this bad boy hops? You, you can give me a little demo for the camera. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure so much. And I can't wait till we get all the cars coming. We're gonna record everybody. This is another episode of Tropical Glitz right here in Atlanta Super Show. I hope you guys love it. If you like everything, please like, subscribe, follow, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. All, everything's under our name, Tropical Glitz. Check everything out on our website also. If you like any of our products, they use all our colors and our custom paint on www.tropicalglitz.net. Much love, this is Manny.